Everyone is posting about how you can make tons of money with ChatGPT3 and OpenAI, but here's a quick tutorial on how to actually do it. Plus, I'll show you how I plan to monetize ChatGPT at the end of this video. All right, so this is what OpenAI Playground looks like. Right now, the Playground tab looks similar to ChatGPT. You can put in prompts and it can spit out some outputs. And you can also test out different code in this as well. And so over here on the top right, you can see even a template of code that you can put into your website, into your application, and you just need to grab your API key. And then you can even toggle between the different languages, Python, JavaScript, all of those. So if you go up here to the top right, you can do view API keys and you can create, generate your new secret keys and enter those into your code. You can also split up your account by different organizations if you belong to multiple you can see your usage over here on the left. You get this free trial usage, $18 worth of credits. I've done a few tests and only racked up two cents in costs. Over here on the top right, you can go to their pricing tab. And this is where it gets interesting. This is where you'll be able to see how you could structure a business using the OpenAI API. All right, so on the pricing page, we go down to the image models with Dolly. We see the pricing there and then down here on the language models, which is really what we would be using in this example. If we use DaVinci, that's two cents per 1000 tokens. We can go down here to see, okay, what does a token really mean? Prices are per 1000 tokens. You can think of those tokens as pieces of words. 1000 tokens is about 750 words. So to visualize it, this paragraph is about 35 tokens. And then you can go down here to fine tune models if you wanted to create your own model. So going off of their base model and developing it for a specific use case and to get a more dependable outcome, you can now look at this pricing to see that using that same DaVinci model, once you have it up and running, it's now 12 cents per thousand tokens. So it's much more expensive but you're going to have much more reliable outcomes and something that your users would probably appreciate and pay more for because you've trained ChatGPT, OpenAI to give you a more dependable output. And so now we'll go over to a very simple Google sheet that I've made to calculate out how you could create a business out of this. So here's a very basic calculation of how you could mark up the tokens, I guess, from the OpenAI playground, from the OpenAI API. So it's about two cents per 1000 tokens, which is about 750 words, which is about 5,200 characters. So you could say that the markup is three times that. So maybe six cents per thousand tokens per 750 words per 5,200 characters. So you could charge people per a thousand tokens, just like the open AI does. And then my thought process was like, okay, we can give a thousand tokens of free use to any user that comes onto the website. It's a very common system where you can go onto a website, you get whatever it is, a hundred free credits, a thousand free credits. You spend those free credits, get used to the system. What kind of value does the website bring? And then if it's worth it, if it's worthwhile, you can then buy another batch of tokens. And so we would give a certain amount of tokens or credits for free at the very beginning. And so I did the math down here. Each of our output fields on the website that I'm creating will probably be roughly 200 characters, which means that that would be about 26 outputs for free so that they could click on my website, you know, generate, generate, generate 26 times, and then they would start to be charged. That seems like a little bit too much for me. And so I basically just cut everything in half down here. I might cut it down a little bit more so that people get about 10 free outputs. They can start to see what the website does, the potential for it, and how they could use it in the future. And I think they'll be able to see that in about 10 outputs. And so this is probably how I would structure my website, generating outputs from OpenAI, but through my website. My bonus tip is that if you want a very simple use case for this API for OpenAI Playground, then you can use something like Zapier to hook it up to your website, maybe on Webflow, and Zapier will watch out for any forms that are submitted on Webflow. Zapier will send that input to ChatGPT, get a completion, get the completion from ChatGPT based off of your prompt, and then send it back to Webflow to display and maybe a collection, for example. You can get a lot more complicated with it, but that's the very basic way of doing this where you can have the API work with your website through a third party like Zapier.
So my experiment, my experiment is startupideas.ai. It's a website where you will be able to go, entrepreneurs will be able to go and fill in just a few fields and then get ideas on what they could do to build a startup. Or in the future, I will also have fields where you can generate content. Now, the beauty of creating my own system for this, instead of just letting anybody use ChatGPT, is that I can actually train a model specifically for this one use case. And so eventually down the line, I can train Dolly, or I can train ChatGPT to give answers, to give outputs that resemble successful product descriptions, successful logos from other companies. And so that is why it could be very useful and valuable to have your own website that uses ChatGPT's API, but that's trained the model specifically for your use case. The vision for startupideas.ai is that you will just give us a few inputs and we will spit out as an output from ChatGPT and from Dolly2 a logo, social media posts, ad copy, ad design, anything and everything that you might need for your website or for your startup in general. And again, that is only based off of just a few inputs from you as the user. And then ChatGPT and Dolly2, they will be trained in this specific model, in this specific use case, so that you're actually getting really valuable outputs and potentially even putting it into a prepackaged presentation just for you. Definitely follow the channel, like the video, and you can stay up to date on the experiment and how we do with startupideas.ai. And I'm excited to hear what you come up with and how you are going to use this API.